Okay, so um, these are um, some French press it cords, Noah. This one's a 24 inch, and then this one's a 30 inch. So the, with a with a 24 inch, the the ones that I want to show you are the distal and the Schwabisch, and then with this one, the VT. So the the other two knots that I showed you, the taut line and the Blake's hitch, um, they're on the ISA. Um, what do they call them? Um, recognized knots. So um, you can use the taut line and the Blakes. Also, you can use the distal, and you can use a swaybish and a VT. So I kind of want to show you those when we start going to these advanced knots. Um, so I, I think that's the next thing we're going to do is just start uh, tying them. Um, we'll maybe start you off with the swaybish. All right. Okay. So the first one I want to work with Noah is the swaybish. And, and for me, I always like to go downward. Um, you can also go upward, but you go, I'm sorry, you go one, two, three, down, and then this one goes over, and then you go behind and follow it back through. And what you wanna do is have the tails the right length, okay? So that's what it's gonna look like, and when you connect it, you're gonna wanna put the pulley on and the carabiner on either side of it. All right, you think you got it? Yeah. Okay, show me this way, Bish no boy. You gotta put the eye on. Oh. <laughs> it looked like it went through. <laughs> All right. How does it feel like intending? Good. Is it pretty simple to come up? Yeah, Again, a second. After you tie it, let it see that it, it's resting. It's like good. Okay, cool. Hey, so why don't you come over this way and then just walk on that little limb right there? Yeah, walk and see how it feels like as you go in and out. See if you like the way it moves. Yeah, just go up to that little crotch right there. How's that feel? Feels pretty good. Come back into the tree and see how it's tending as you go. Cool. How do you like it? Want to try another little limb somewhere? Right. How about that one over there? Somewhere. Yeah. Hey, on each of them, maybe you could try to do that same walk and see what you think of each of them. Make it tight. Dang branch. <laughs> How's it feel? Cool. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Alright, cool. Alright. Cool. Alrighty. Alright, so um, I'm going to show you the distal. Uh, same thing as a swaybish. With the, um, the distal, you can go um, a minimum of four wraps, and same with the swaybish. Um, if you have a longer cord, you can do more than like four wraps. You can go five if you want. 
Um, now with the distal, I'm going to go three wraps down. One, two, three. And then on my next one, I'm going to go um, across. And then I'm going to bring it back through on this side. So in a way, it almost looks like a, a clove hitch with, or even a taut line with three on top and one on the bottom. You want to see the cross and one will go this direction and one will go the other direction. That's your distal. All right, Noah. Let me see you do that distal. How's that one feeling? Quicker. Quicker? All right, cool, cool. How in the tendon? Try to keep it tight as you're walking in, like in one fluid motion. And then go back to that other limb and see how that feels. How's that feel? Pretty good. Cool, cool. Cool. Pretty smooth as you're going down, less like jerky motion, huh? All right, so the one I want to show you now is a VT. It's kind of a finicky knot. You got to make sure it's tied right. The way I do it is I'll put the line behind my climbing line, the, the pressic. And then I'll go four wraps down. One, two, three, my fourth. Now the one that comes forward, you're gonna get the back part, you're gonna cross over it. It's gonna go against the line. This one's gonna go on, on this side of the line. And what you're gonna do is braid it down the line. Okay, now you're gonna get your you're gonna get your pulley. Connect it. And then you're gonna get carabiner and and capture it. Okay. So now this this one you gotta test. Make sure it's not running on you. Okay. So make sure you do a good solid test. Push it up and make sure it grips. Let's see. Okay. That's good. Now if you're doing this and it keeps on sliding then you've tied it incorrectly. It should grip. Okie doke. Right, so show me the VT now, boy. Yeah, just like that. 
Now that other one goes underneath it. Yeah, and then braid it downward. And try to match those, make those kind of equal length. Yeah. Okay. Okay, connect it to your belt and walk back and forth a few times and make sure it kind of, and then do a, a really low uh, on rope rest, see if it, it holds. I don't know how'd you do it. Just twist it around. There you go. How's that feel? Cool. Alright. Walk back a little. Is it hold is it holding? Cool. Alright. And go up a foot or so and come back. And then lean back. Just make sure that it's gonna hold. Yeah, okay. Right. Let's see the VT buddy boy. There you go. Cool. Go try that other limb. Yeah, try to keep it tense as you're going inward. How's it feel? <laughs> not, worth, not worth the... You don't really like the VT so much, huh? Alright. <laughs> well, it does have a little bit longer legs, so it's a little bit further away from you. Alright. Okay, so out of the, the three knots, or, or like, uh, better yet, why don't we start with the Schwabish? What did you think of that knot? Uh, it was good. It was, it moved. Uh, pretty slick it wasn't and then it caught the rope pretty well okay cool and how about how did you feel about tying it uh, well it's super simple simple okay Easy, cool probably easiest one easier okay um, how about the distal what did you think of that one it's like the swabish but just a bit faster a little bit faster, little bit faster so. and it's kind of close to you, you think better than like the Blakes right oh well, yeah the, well the Blakes is it's pretty standard but the, the distal just I mean it's easier to tie it's reliable um, it hasn't got stuck on me too much. Oh, that's cool, cool. Mm -hmm. And how about that VT, the last one you did? Oh, I didn't like it. Not, not too much. <laughs> it, what, what, like, why? <laughs> why? Well, I mean, one, it slides too much. 
and then uh, well since it slides too much I, I couldn't do limb walking as confidently as I would with like the distal yeah, that's cool and then well and then another thing it was, just felt a little too too far away from my body so yeah at the same time it felt like I was maybe it's because my arms are not as long but yeah at the same time like uh, well that's it just my makes point. more sense to do the distal when the VT was harder to tie it didn't give me the same amount of confidence I would be while using the distal that's cool. That the thing that you said about the long legs. That's for me. I got short arms. That's why I never really cared for the the VT. I mean. Oh, cool. I mean, yeah. But yeah. I mean, beyond that, it just it just slides too much. Okay, which cool. Which I don't think when I'm climbing, I don't like to have to check that when I'm doing anything else. I like to just get on and go. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So, you, uh, um, the reason why we were looking on these knots is because if you go down here, no. This is ISA, um, you can download this through the ISA website, and it's for the um, tree climber specialist test. They actually let you look at it so you can prepare yourself to take the ISA test. So the thing that I was lo noticing is here, the recognized knots, or the friction hitches, and they're pretty much the basic ones that we started on were the taut line and the blakes. Now the reason I'd rather work with the distal swabish and the, the French pressic VT is because they're recognized by ISA. There's so many more knots that we can learn, um, but let's stick to those. And, and like you thought that distal was good, so we'll continue with the distal. Um, so I'm thinking the next few videos we're gonna work on. Um, the next one we're gonna do will be a limb walk. We'll be using the distal. Okie doke. <laughs>